So first one is the Dream Router. So yes, it has router in his name, but it is compatible with Unify Protect. Not only that, but it gives you access to Unify Network, which gives you control over all your networking equipment if you're using Unify. But this one, again, good for residential use, but with uh, some limitations. And let me show you. So going into the capacity calculator page, and then we will toggle the protect right here. So as you can see, if with only one 4K cameras, I'm already maxed out in the Unify Protect aspect. And if I change, so maybe I want to have 2K resolution cameras, I can have up to two cameras on there. So this is about the computing power of your controller. So this is important to keep in mind, again, depending on your project. And not only that, but the storage that it uses. So when we're looking at the UDR, it uses a local micro SD card storage. So you would have maybe 20 hours of storage when you're recording on there. So that's why I say for residential use, that might be an option for you if you want to have your cameras, maybe just to monitor and not to actually record. It can be a good first step into the Unify Protect space. But keep in mind that you might not be able to do everything you want to do on there. And something I will mention throughout this video is that when you choose your Unify controller, think about future cases. So again, if you're doing a residential installation, maybe eventually you would like to change all your networking to Unify. So does your controller actually gives you access to a Unify network? So this is always something to look at. And what is nice about the capacity calculator is that it also tell you uh, this feature. So for example, with the UDR, I do have access to Unify Network and I can see how many access points I can add if I have my cameras. So before I exceed the capacity, I would need to have 15 access points and two 2K cameras. So it's a great way again to scale your system and understand how much you can scale it with the current controller that you have.